Yes, folks, welcome back to the Music Scout, and thank you all for joining me very much for episode 45. We are only five episodes away from 50, folks, and I'm very sorry for being away for, I think, a month. Yeah. Um, I have had a few bits and bobs going on. I've had technical issues. Virgin have screwed me over. Uh, my laptop hasn't been working, and I've also had some family stuff going on as well in between all of that, so... Lots of things have been going on that have not allowed me to do the podcast, so I'm recording this nice and early on a Sunday, ready to go out on the Thursday, which I'm very happy about, and I've got all of this lovely music for you as well. So, we just had Paolo Mendoca to kick us off uh, with You Got To Believe, which is a You Got Number Two and Believe, and this dude's been going around for, since 1993 when I was born, which is probably a bit weird for him and he was presenting some astounding funk blues right there he's the main man of it uh, you know he's implementing some soul into that as well and uh, this is just from a single that he's released this year the last thing he released was in 2013 which is sort of like his best of but they were they're all remakes um i think the last album he bought was 2007 and this one was sort of a nice remake of everything that he's done um you know, better quality, um, some breakdowns that no one's ever heard of before, little changes to the songs, and then this song as well from 2017, and he, it, it, it's safe to say he's still got it, so if you haven't checked out Paolo Mendoca, do, do, do go check him out, because he is a god in creating just some amazing, just some amazing funk blues, uh, with some sort of soul influences as well, and so we're going to crack on with the second song and then after the second song I'm going to let you know what the plan is for the next couple of weeks because Christmas is coming up and I want to try and squeeze in as many episodes as possible because I feel like I owe it to you guys to uh, get some new music out there I've got a ton saved and I'm going to be putting out my new jams playlist of 2017 which has got pretty much everything that I have played this year on there Maybe a few that you haven't heard of before. Some didn't quite make it into the podcast for some reason. Maybe I've just completely missed them out. Some hidden gems in there as well that I haven't played for a while. And so, yeah, it should be really good. Uh, I will let you know more about that later on. And the New Jams 2018 playlist will start in 2018. But for now, let's listen to Ledgers with their single Nothing To Say. Nothing to say, but I was in the way you talked to me. I can't remember your name, but it's all the same. Cause talk is cheap. There was nothing to say. I was in the way you talk to me, to me 
folks, Ledges and Homecoming. Uh, this is from that album, and that was the song Nothing to Say. Uh, a single coming off of their latest album they brought out this year. Uh, it was Homecoming, and uh, it's just a fantastic song, really. There's a lot of layers in that song. A very, very nice melodic tone, the, the ooze. Um, I'm not going to sing, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> so I think it's just that sort of melodic uh, a part where it's incredibly catchy and it takes a lot of really really good experience in songwriting to be able to do that and these guys are like not known at all and it's incredible to know that there are bands like this that can just captivate you straight away and their whole album does this as well and if it had come out slightly earlier this album probably would have been my my uh, my top 10 albums of which as I said earlier on, I'm going to let you know about the, the next couple of episodes. So, I think the next couple of episodes, next week, so that will be the like, the second week of December, we're going to have the single of the year. So we're going to go through the top ten, so it's going to be a long episode as well for you. Top ten of the singles of the year. And then the week after that is the big one, is the albums of the year. Now I've written both of these already, so I know who wins. But I'm not going to spoil it for you. And I'm going to say this is this has probably been my best year for new music and just best year of music as in general. I have discovered some incredible artists this year. I've discovered some incredible tastes in music that I never knew I had. And I'm really looking forward to looking back and just going through who inspired me to, you know, look into more of a certain genre, for example, and who who had the best, you know, melodics and who had the best song in general, you know, who's going to win, who's going to get number one spot, uh, I know, but you don't, <laughs> so uh, we're going to move on to the next song, now I saw these guys live last week, was it this week, it was this week, at the Shepherd's Bush Market, uh, it was the Town Hall, and my god this was incredible it was uh it was incredible uh novo amore and ed tullet and if you haven't checked out the album yet heiress i thoroughly thoroughly encourage you to like it is insane and these guys were in form as well and um, so do enjoy terraform and i will speak to you in a bit Thank you. 
catatonic I'll find a chaperone Wait around, forget mnemonics I'll regret it years ago absolutely astounding track that is and that basically gives you a feel of the whole album heiress came out a couple of weeks ago incredible stuff and they were brilliant live as well there were drums there was keys there was a violin there was horns and the two singers themselves who have astounding harmonies as well for doing such a full set of voice now uh, uh, quickly just to say that like Technology is not doing good at the moment, and I can tell because of the bloody crackling on the, the microphone. I need to get a new microphone. And apologies for the crackling. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so I might just treat myself to a new microphone. So apologies for that. And it just basically shows that like technology has just really screwed me over the last sort of three, four weeks. Uh, you know, Virgin Wi-Fi has gone down. Uh, my laptop's just not wanting to work. It's just frozen for some reason, but now it's kicking back up and running, which is good. Uh, so I thought, right, seize the opportunity, get this out. So let's move on to the next track. We're going to hear from Mapov, and uh, this is called Nimbin. i 
P-P-E and of so O-F and with their song Nimbin and this is from their album A Northern Star A Perfect Stone which also came out this year I'm not going to try to talk as much now because that crackling is horrible but I still want to put this goddamn podcast out so let's move on to the double header of music for you we're going to hear from Honeyblood and then E-U-T enjoy <laughs> Fucking right most of the time And I know Getting kicks, fighting boys That don't concern me Any excuse to get my fist dirty
yes, folks, a double header of music there for you with Honey Blood from uh, a, a upcoming album, uh, which is and their album will actually feature this single, which was Swell Love. Uh, that came out a couple of weeks ago and EUT with the song Supplies again just a single on its own both fantastic both a little bit different in their own ways I realise the crackle is back again so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're swelled about that see what I did there <laughs> and yeah, um, the Honey Blood is just really really crack like just doing a really good job they're just absolutely smashing it with every song that they put out at the moment uh, my friend's got a theory that uh, female rock bands are going to take over the music industry. We've got Dream Wife, we've got Honey Blood, we've got Estrons, we've got um, uh, what's the other Brutus? Uh, yeah, I, I there are a number that I can just rattle off that I know that are coming up, up and coming. So fingers crossed that that happens. And EUT of Supplies with the slightly more uh, I'd say it's sort of like droney's tone, and it's definitely sort of uh, more indie. Uh, stroke uh, electronic sounds as well but I really quite like the tone very different from Honey Blood as well so it fit the double header music quite nicely uh, we're going to listen to Four Atlantic for you to close the show off and I'm going to leave you with the horrible crackling tone hopefully it's cleared up next week so don't forget to check out the Music Scout podcast website www.musicscout.co.uk email is the Music Scout podcast at gmail.com facebook is the Music Scout as well as Twitter which is at the Music Scout with a little underscore I'm trying to do this very quickly I'm surprised I can talk this quickly thank you very much all for joining me and I will see you next week and I genuinely will <laughs> I know I said that last time it's a month for fuck's sake um, yeah uh, next week will be the single of the year do join me for that because that's going to be really really good 10 songs so it's going to be about an hour long as well so hope you can join me for that and we will kick off 2018 with some amazing music that I can find for you so enjoy Let's leave 2017 as it was with some beautiful music and I will speak to you later for Atlantic Bass and Sunlight. Enjoy, ta-ra! Out of-